People would arrive at Broad Street Station across from City Hall, maybe with just a slip of paper, and people would say, well, go to South Street. And people would find each other through South Street. As the Great Migration swells Philadelphia's black population to over a quarter million, the largest by proportion of any northern city, the vaudeville circuit performer Bessie Smith arrives on South Street with her sister and her niece. Bessie Smith was fearless. She had a big voice. They didn't have mics and so forth. And some middle-class African-Americans and churchgoers called it the devil music. But the masses of grassroots people loved Bessie Smith. Tens of thousands of rural black immigrants coming and settling in the city. And they're bringing cultured, cultivated African-American music and sort of low-down gut bucket blues and early forms of jazz and ragtime. Bessie Smith's main subject in her music was about heartache, a stand-in for some of the disappointments that migrants had when they came to Philadelphia. The heartache, the disappointment over life not being exactly what they wanted it to be. Newly arrived in the big city, Lucy Spies seeks employment in the homes of white families. But she and her children must make their home in a decrepit boarding house. These homes don't have running water. Many of them have um, outhouses in the backyard, and this is in the middle of Philadelphia. Deed restrictions and redlining by banks and insurance agencies force black residents to live in specific areas of the city. Hotel, restaurant, and theater owners ban them from gathering in Center City's public spaces. What African Americans in Philadelphia did was take the disadvantages of their lack of access to other parts of the city and instead create a thriving community in and around South Street. It's really a city within a city. 